This is important. This will allow you to tilt it like this. Stuffy beanbag chair. What's the stuffy I got today? What was the special gift you got today? My telescope! Okay. This is my certificate of having a star named after me, me, me. Go to starical.com for more information about your star. This is the Celestron Inspire 90AZ Refractor Telescope with a with, adapter with smartphone adapter. Okay, how do you pronounce it again? Okay, so it came in a box, and now I am opening a box, and now what do we got? A box. More boxes. Okay, now here's the paperwork. We gotta take care of that. You can just put that on the table for now. We just want to pick up smallest the smallest box. Let's see what's in here. Pull that out. Pull that out. Looks like some parts. Mm -hmm. Yeah? We got to be careful with those parts, all right? Yeah. Uh, looks like some lenses. Battery. There's some, there's, there's like a cleaning cloth and everything. So, another box. Or more boxes. Ta -da. All right, I think what this is. Telescope? Nope. This is the stand. The base. Now take, take the box that? off. Double, take double, the box off my lap, Hannah, and put it over there. There you go. Good girl. Ooh. Wow. Wow, look at that. Okay. Daddy's gonna have to figure out how to mount that. The base to the telescope? About the base, no trouble. I'm all about the base. About the base. No problem. What do you think this is going to be? This is the last box. We're going to be very, very careful with this piece. Careful. You know what? I think I got it. Well, this is slippery. So, here, pull that off. Pull that off. Here, pick this. There's the telescope, and I'm, I don't want to ruin this, so I'm going to have to maybe look at the instructions on how to mount this. I see this. I see what's happening now. It's actually... Yep, I'm gonna have to look at the instructions. Hannah, give the instruction to Daddy. You, little one, this is not too heavy. Put it down. Take that, okay? Oh, put not that, heavy at all. Put that down somewhere safe. Here you go. There's a download code on there for your software, so we're gonna have to keep that. Okay, it does go on like that. Assembling your telescope. Daddy's reading the instructions, and what's Hannah doing? Pop in the packaging. Every child loves the packaging. On the bottom of the telescope tube, and slide it into the saddle. Yeah, but Mama. But don't, don't make that noise. Okay. Celestron. Warning. Never attempt to view the sun through any telescope without proper filtering. We're not going to do it. Wait, wait, wait. So I mounted it. The erect diagonal. The Inspired Telescopes comes with a 90 degree diagonal. The accessory uses a prism to bend the light at a 90 degree angle. Allowing you to easily use this telescope for daytime terrestrial observing. To install the erect image diagonal, remove the caps from both sides of the diagonal. Okay. Loosen the set screws on the back of the telescope focuser and pull out the small dust cap. Insert the smaller tube, which is the smaller tube. This one. Okay. Into the, in, on the diagonal into the back of the focuser and secure it by tightening the set screws. Right. Now, we probably want that to 
go up, right? So we're gonna tighten our set screws like this, right? Oh, I think, uh, oh, never mind, actually. So that's in there nice and tight. Yeah? So you would look at it like. Now, the eyepieces. Your Inspire Telescope comes with two eyepieces. A lower power 20 millimeter piece and a higher power 10 millimeter piece. Because this is this is for your accessories, but I think this just pops off like that. I don't know that you have a cap. See this? That's where you're, that's your that's your good 10 millimeter. Okay. Your accessory your accessories go there, right? Always start with the 20 millimeter eyepiece. Once you have your target centered, okay. Here, this is important. So listen to me. Listen, this is important. Inspire Telescopes comes with a, a 20 millimeter eyepiece and a higher power 10 millimeter. Whenever you set up your telescope, always start with the 20 millimeter eyepiece. Once you have your target centered in the 20 millimeter eyepiece, you can switch to the higher power 10 millimeter eyepiece to increase magnification and get a more detailed view. Mm -hmm. So you, you find what you're looking for. You Center like it. Mm -hmm. Then you can switch, then you get dialed in, right? And, and mark your target with your telescope. Then you can go to the higher powered one to get a better look. Insert the silver barrel of the 20 millimeter eyepiece into the diagonal. Tighten the set screw to secure. To see the sharpest image possible, you need to adjust the telescope's focus. Look through the eyepiece and slowly turn the focusing knobs until you see the sharpest image possible. Wait, I okay, these, these, hold on. These, these are your focusing knobs, I think, right? Uh -huh. I'm not sure, but it says use your, um, Focusing knobs. The Star Pointer Pro Finder Scope. Do you see anything like this? Oh yeah, definitely. Right here. The Star Pointer the Pro. The Star Pointer Pro Star Finder Scope. Mm. No, the Star Pointer Pro Finder Scope. The Star Pointer Pro Finder Scope. Are you happy now, Dad? Yes, I'm happy now. Here, so let's, the Inspire telescope comes with a star pointer pro finder scope that you will use as a sighting tool when aiming the telescope at a target to install the finder scope slide the finder scope bracket into the dovetail slot on the telescope on the top of the focuser secure the bracket by tightening the set screw Look at the star pointer. What a cool thing. The star pointer pro uses a CR2032 button battery. Ah, if you're gonna store your telescope for a long period of time, it's best to remove the battery to prevent accidental corrosion. The flashlight. The Inspire oh, mount comes with a built-in LED flashlight located in the center hub of the mount's left and right axis. Unthread the red lens at the end of the flashlight. I got to the Slide the flashlight out of its protective cover. Unthread the cap on the back to expose the battery compartment. Positive side down. Down. Slide the slide it back into its protector. Okay. I don't know what this is gonna do, but yeah, here. I'm not sure what that does at this point, other than light it up a little bit. But how about that, huh? Mm, okay. It might just light up. It's dark out when uh -huh, you're working. Yeah. It might just light up your accessories. Wings of your master, what you need to do, Ma. Yes, I do. Ooh. You see anything? Yeah. It's all set up now, right? And then I think I think this just I don't know I don't know all about the you know there's a cell phone thing and whatnot, but 
and just cover back on. The installation of the Celestron Inspire was very, very easy. There's not that many parts. It was very easy to put the telescope onto the base. It was very easy to install all of the accessories in the eyepiece and, and the, what do they call that? Star Pointer Pro Finder Scope. Awesome. It, was, it was easy to install it all. And there's further instructions now on how to use it, which gets a little bit harder. You have to, you have to move this and get the, the finder scope aligned with the telescope itself so that your finder scope gets something lined up in, in the middle and then you look for, through your telescope to see whatever you have in your finder scope really, really, really up close. So later, we're going to look at the instructions and it says the first thing that you want to look at is the moon. So later, we'll wait till it's a little bit dark and the moon comes out. And then we can see my moon. And then we can see the moon. My moon. And then, maybe tomorrow night, or maybe tonight, we can look and we can try to find your star. What's your star called? Pannycorn! Okay! What did we see? Oh. Maybe we'll see. Grab that. Turn it this way. Okay? Now, this will allow you to tilt it like this. Okay? So we're going to tilt it up like that. Now, tighten it. Okay, that's good. See? It's nice and tight now. You don't have to, like, really crank it. Your little hands, your little strength, it will get it. And now, now you're all set up like this. Look, now look through the finder. So do you think we want the tripod higher because we're tilting it up? Don't you think, honey? Looks cool up like that, too. Yeah. Jessica and uh, Uncle Keith. Bye bye. <laughs>